Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. College football official plays week 10. Does that like, does that register with you? Week 10? Like, do you see how fast the season goes? It's really honestly sad. It's already week 10. It, this is pretty sad, but we got to enjoy it while it lasts. Um, probably going to start doing some videos on the college football playoff too. Uh, maybe on Tuesdays we'll react uh, each week to the new set of, of playoff rankings and kind of go over what we're thinking for that. So you can let me know in the comments if that's something of interest. Uh, by the way, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on today's video. You can see the track record on the whiteboard through nine full weeks of college football. 33 and 21. That's good for about 61%. So I don't know. If you're not subscribed, not sure uh, what you're looking for. But we got one, two, three, four. I don't know. We got like seven maybe eight official plays this week. Uh, it took me a while to research everything and really narrow everything down and look at line movement, and that's why this video is coming out here on Friday, a little bit later in the week than normal. But uh, that's why you should be subscribed to the channel because sometimes these videos come out late. You want that notification on your device, however you watch YouTube. Sometimes these things come out at the buzzer. You definitely want to get them before it's too late. I hope everyone does end up having a good weekend this weekend. Let's get into the free picks. So number one, uh, I wanted to take Alabama, but I just couldn't quite get there. I think LSU's offense is too potent. So we're going to go over 61 and a half. We're going to go over the number for the LSU Alabama game. LSU's defense, it's not very good. Alabama, they're going to be able to score. And LSU, if they want to be in this game, they're going to have to score. I think this could easily get uh, into the mid to upper 30s per team. More of a shootout, I'm kind of thinking, for this game. So I'm going to go over the total of 61.5 for the LSU and Alabama game. Number two, we're going with Arkansas. Arkansas is off a bye. They've had a horrible season. What are they, 2-6? and six? But they've been a cover machine, especially in these... These road underdog spots, uh, underdog spots in general. I mean, the Ole Miss game, the Bama game, they just hang in there. They stay tough. Uh, maybe they come up just short again. Maybe Florida, like, wins by the skin of their teeth. I don't think so, though. I think this is actually an upset pick. I think Arkansas on the money line is something you guys should at least sprinkle a little money on. But we're going to take the points with Arkansas. I got it at four and a half right now. Make sure you guys shop around your lines as the video today is coming out on Friday. Stuff is moving. Um, so so download a few different apps or check a few different places before you just submit your picks. Four and a half is available with Arkansas right now. I'm taking the points with Arkansas. I think they win the game outright. We're going to the Kansas State and Texas game at plus six. I'd take the points with Kansas. It's down to four and a half. Four and a half. It's at Texas. Kansas State's just a different animal on the road sometimes. They've been playing super good lately, but I've watched them I've watched them be soft before. I feel like the the effort from Texas in the, in this game might resemble a little bit closer to the Alabama effort. This is a massive game. I'm going over the total. I know it's come down. It's come down. It's at 49 and a half right now as we speak. That's too much movement. It's too far down. That's too low. That's not enough. Both these teams are going to score. I know there's. A, I know it's not yours for Texas. I get it. But they're going to score. 49 and a half. I mean, if this is 27 to 24, the total's going over, guys. I think, I think this could get... I think both teams could get into the low 30s in this game. I think it's going to be a close game. Maybe you get overtime. Over 49 and a half. Kansas State and Texas. Texas A&M. I'm going to take the three points on the road at Ole Miss. Ole Miss, look at their track record. Look at their track record. They just they don't have a lot of impressive wins. Their record's pretty good. They're ranked pretty high. But a lot of those games, closer than you think, closer than the score even reflects. This is just so fishy. Texas A&M on the road, the season they've had, uh, the road performance at Miami. Um, now they're only plus three against the 11th team in the country. Yeah, I'm going to take the three. I think Texas A&M probably wins this game. I'm taking three points with Texas A&M. Uh, probably my least favorite of all of my official plays this week, but it was still good enough to make the official plays. I'm taking the three points. 
Tennessee. So this is a game. There's something I want to talk about with this college football playoff stuff. Not only at this point in the year do you have to win, you have to impress, right? In the NFL, you could get lucky. You could be a big favorite. You could need overtime, kick a field goal, win an ugly game. It counts the same. It's purely off your record. College, different story. You have to impress, right? If you want to get into a good bowl game or climb the rankings, whatever your your goals are as a team, you have to win in impressive fashion. Tennessee at home laying 35 points to UConn. I'm going to lay it. I think this is an absolute beatdown. I could see something in the upper 40s to like three, upper 40s to like maybe seven at most. I mean, I mean, UConn's going to score like maybe once, maybe twice at the end of the game when it's already kind of over. This is going to be a cover. A lot of people like to lay the big numbers in week one or week two when it's Alabama versus like a nobody or a big drank school versus like a terrible non-conference team. So it's a little bit odd here in week 10 to see like a huge mismatch and a big line. I think it's big for a reason. I'm going to lay the points with Tennessee 35 and a half right now. It's at 35 and a half right now laying the points with Tennessee. Going to the Oklahoma-Oklahoma State game. Oklahoma State is one of the most popular underdog picks of the week. Uh, A lot of people like Oklahoma State. They've been playing great lately. They have home field advantage. This is a huge rivalry. Oklahoma State has looked bad in two games in a row. Lost to Kansas. Should have lost to UCF. I'm on Oklahoma. I'm on Oklahoma. I mean, you get value on it. It's a buy-low spot. End End of story. End of the story. It's a buy low spot. On Oklahoma, the spread's five and a half. It has come down a little bit. I don't care about line movement in this spot. Oklahoma's a much better team. Oklahoma State's overrated. They've they've skated by a few games. They got, you know, their Kansas win was at home. Jason Bean is way different on the road than home, so you can't quite give them a lot of credit for that. The West Virginia game, it was just West Virginia self-imploding. They could have easily lost that game. Um Oklahoma State just doesn't impress me. I hate going against Mike Gundy. I really do. I'm taking Oklahoma minus five and a half in this game. They still have playoff uh, chance, right? The chance is low after what happened in Lawrence last week, but the chance is still there. This can certainly get them back on track. If they win out and they do it by impressive fashion, Oklahoma is going to be in the college football playoff. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the points with a team that still has the higher uh the, the, the higher, like, um, the ability to to do more with their season. Um, Oklahoma State, they're just trying to be as good as they can be, but the playoff is cooked for them. I'm going to go ahead and lay the five and a half with Oklahoma. Just a gut feeling here and to kind of go against what is a trendy public underdog pick. I'm going to go ahead and take Oregon State in a bounce back spot against Colorado. They're laying 13 and a half. This line has not moved an inch. Here's why I like Oregon State in this spot. Colorado, they got some good skill position players. Travis Hunter is amazing. Uh, Shador, he's a you know, he's pretty good quarterback. Uh, they got some speed. They don't have physicality. They just don't. They don't have the 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 beef that some teams have. Oregon State off of a loss. Now, Oregon State is way better wildly better to take at home. Oregon State is a team you want to take at home. But I'll tell you what, in this spot, Colorado, they're just not going to be able to hang physically with Oregon State. Oregon State's going to score a bunch of points. They got the defense to get some stops. I think this is closer to like a 20 or a 21-point margin. I'm laying 13 and a half. I don't care. That, 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 That number's too short. Colorado is not a good football team. Give me Oregon State. Minus 13 and a half at Colorado. And that's it. Those are the official plays, but I do have two honorable mentions. You guys have known, if you've followed the channel for a little bit of time, just how well I do on the picks that don't quite make the list, but I like a lot. Clemson plus three and a half. I really like. I do think they have a chance to beat Notre Dame. Their season's horrible. The only thing that could possibly inspire them to play well is knocking off a big ranked opponent at home. I think Dabo has gotten enough heat from the media. I think he rallies the crew. I think they play better in this game. They got a good chance to win this game. I would consider taking the points with Clemson in this one. 
USC plus three. All they hear is how they suck. They have no defense, blah, 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 blah. Washington looked pathetic uh, against, who is it, Arizona State that one game. Washington does not impress me. Um, they're in a road environment here. I'm, I would definitely take three points with USC. And then Kansas State, back to the Kansas State game. I would I was really considering taking the four and a half with Kansas State as this game should be close, but I couldn't quite get there. So three honorable mention picks, but the rest of the ones that we started off with are what we're actually going to go with this week for our official plays. Let me know in the comments, which of these do you like the best? Which of these do you think is the most risky? What do you like this week? That's all I got, guys. Another week in the books. Hopefully, we'll be talking about this Sunday night with another winning week in college football. I'll see you guys in the next video.